Hello, my friends. Jacob is here once again, and I am glad that you're here with me. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming and spending some time with me, because we're talking crazy space today. We're talking some interesting things, some things that I talked about about a year ago, where there's a little bit of an update, a big update. I mean, we're talking a major astronomical update on the asteroid known as Bennu. quite a stir last year when they said that this asteroid is going to crash into our planet in 2135. So they sent up a craft, the OSIRIS-REx craft. The idea was they were going to send it up, which they did last year. It was going to go all the way around the sun. And then when it was coming around the sun, then it was going to kind of like, you know, you ever play um, Super Mario Brothers where you hit those those little uh, those little skin marks and you, you go and it slingshots you further? Well, that's what they were going to do with the gravity. It was going to come close to the orbit of the Earth and then the gravity was going to kind of shoot it and you know, give it a supercharged lift, saving them some money on gas and getting it to the asteroid quicker. So that it could then slowly descend and give it as they call a cosmic high five. Basically, uh, the, the arm of the craft would then land on the rock, then shoot some nitrogen gas to get all of you know, all of the dust and the debris to kind of go up into a collection vessel, which then they would then jettison it back to planet Earth so it could be studied. In 2019, OSIRIS-REx will deploy its touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism, or TAGSAM, and slowly approach the sample site. When the TAGSAM touches the surface, it will release a burst of nitrogen gas, causing loose rocks and soil to flow into the collector. Since Bennu may be rich in organic material or water left over from the formation of the solar system, sampling it could reveal whether the building blocks of life were present at that time, perhaps providing clues to the origins of life itself. After moving away from the surface, OSIRIS-REx will perform a spin maneuver to measure the mass of the sample. Then it will carefully stow the TAGSAM head inside the sample return capsule and prepare for the journey back to Earth. Upon arriving home in 2023, OSIRIS-REx will release the sample, giving us a piece of the ancient solar system that will be studied for decades to come. They said that they're doing this because they want to see, or because if the, the, the origins of life, they say, would be found here, and that they would better understand how the world was formed. I didn't really think that that was the real case, and I don't think a lot of other people think it's the real case, considering the trajectory that it's on, there is a possibility that in the year 2135, that this asteroid, which is rather large, it wouldn't destroy the world, but it would create some devastation on the planet, especially where it landed. Um, it could crash into us. Yeah, that's... NASA, you know, never straight answer. They're not going to come out and tell you, hey, you know, we think that this thing could hit us. So we're going to go up there. We're going to find out what this asteroid is made of. And then we're going to send it on back and we're going to analyze it. We're going to find the best way to deal with it. By the way, Osiris is the god of the dead. It's an Egyptian god. Come up with these names is beyond me. It can't be a coincidence that there's another craft that they sent up around the same time last year called Isis, which... ISIS, the, the whole purpose of ISIS was to catch up with asteroid Bennu and smash into it. That's right, while Osiris snaps a bunch of pictures. Hmm. But they're not trying to knock it off course or anything, they just want to see how it'll react. 
And I'm sure that it has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that it could be coming our way. Interesting about Banu is they didn't really know much about it. I mean, this kind of this thing kind of just showed up. And what they found out was that every time that it goes around the sun, it heats up and it brings its trajectory a little bit closer to us. Hence, all of these missions. OSIRIS, which stands for Origins, Spectral Interpretation, Resource Identification, and Security. It's interesting that the word security is on a mission that really has nothing to do with security, supposedly, but the origins of the uh, universe. Megalith Explorer is NASA's first ever asteroid sample return mission. This is a big deal. It's an even bigger deal that this year, just within the last couple of days, it actually did slingshot into our orbit and be pushed out towards this asteroid to meet up very shortly. It has an orbital path affected by a gravitational pull of the bodies that it passes, which makes it very dangerous, which is most likely why they're studying it. I don't know why they can't just tell us. It'd be a lot easier if they did that, but they don't. So, you know, space. Another thing that's interesting, a lot of um, people ask me on a regular basis to talk about the flat earth. I am not someone who is qualified to talk about it. I find some of the videos fascinating. One day I will dedicate my time to learning more, I promise you. And it's not something that I'm blowing off. And it's not something that just because I was told my whole life that uh, the world is round. And I right now believe that it is spherical in nature. Uh, that doesn't mean that that's, that's true. It doesn't mean that I shouldn't question it. And I'm going to question it. Uh, I just haven't devoted enough time to it, and I will. But I'm bringing all that up because Osiris Rex actually captured an image of the Earth and um, in its spherical form. And since many people out there in this community, they understand that there aren't many legit pictures of the Earth, this would add to the handful or so that they have on file. Is that more distraction? Is it the truth? You tell me. I'm not going to tell you. I take enough heat for just sharing my, uh, my heart with you all. I come on here each week and all I want to do is provoke thought. And I want, I want you to seek more and to know more. And I want you to ask. And I want you to say things like, teach me the truth no matter what the cost. Because I know there's more. I try not to tell you what it is that you should believe. Because who am I to tell you that? When someone is lost, you don't condemn them, you don't throw them to the curb. You love them and you help them along the way. And if I've been a blessing to people in the last however many years I've been doing this, if I've meant something to you and I do one video that you think doesn't sit well with you, I ask you don't take off because you're going to miss the next week's show. I can't please everybody, people. I also want to tell all of you out there that if I've made a difference in your life and if that what I share, you know, encourages you or entertains you or inspires you in any way and you're not subscribed to the channel, please take the time. Press the button. It's 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 uh it's right there or right there or wherever I put it, you know, wherever they put it. Please. Because about 75% of the people that are watching each week aren't subscribed. For me to be able to share more videos, for me to be able to really devote the amount of time that I want to this channel, I need to have a bigger subscriber base because once you hit these certain landmarks, your videos are showcased a little more and you get to reach you know, more people. And I think today people need to see that it's not all gloom and doom. I think people today need to see that there is wonder out there for us all. And we don't need to just accept the, the daily miserable grind that is forced on us. That where we are planted, we can thrive. But the only way for us to do that is if we seek. And the only way if, for us to understand that we are more is if someone tells us. So help me by subscribing, share the videos around. It means a lot. Oh, and I want to give you another update too, by the way. Um, everybody's been asking me about the physicist who worked at CERN, who's connected to 
that video, that happy video, and all of those questions, and, and, and knows, knows about that human sacrifice, the mock human sacrifice. He has all of the scoop. Now, believe it or not, he's still coming on the show. Um, we've emailed back and forth, and he's actually, we've actually now narrowed it down to a date. Going to be in a couple of weeks. I'm hoping that that's the uh, the show that marks a hundred thousand subscribers. Because my daughter told me over a year ago that within about a year's time or so that I'm going to get that silver, whatever it is. I don't know. Anyway, listen. I love each and every one of you. I hope that you are in a good place in your life right now. And if you are not, I hope that you understand that it's just there to get you to get into a better one. You know, our hard times are there to push us. They're not. These things are not happening to us. They're happening for us, to move us from one place to another. And I promise you that where you are going is gonna be better, and it's not gonna be compared to where you left. You just can't see it down the road. My life has changed in so many ways. It's not always been hugs, kisses, and hearts, and roses. Life wouldn't be a bowl of cherries if you didn't have to learn how to spit out the pits. So when those pits come, just know you can pass them along one way or the other. <laughs> this week on Tuesday is going to be a fantastic, it's gonna be a longer one too. It's already in the works right now. And I gotta tell you something, whew, it's, uh, it's worth the wait. So on Tuesday, I hope you do check it out. I hope you do tell people about the channel. I hope you do subscribe. I wanna be here to encourage you. And everything that I share with you, I believe without a shadow of a doubt is meant to move us all from a place of ignorance into a place of understanding and understanding then wisdom because wisdom, according to the scriptures, is a tree of life. Truth is going to set you free from the lies you believe. I love each and every one of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.